Today, we'll be running a diagnostic scan on the ThinkCheck M70. To start up the device, you'll need to plug the cable into the OBD2 port of your vehicle and have the vehicle set to run with the engine off. First, press the scan button on the home screen. Then select auto search. Then diagnose. The M70 will then perform a VIN scan on your vehicle. Once your VIN is located, you will be asked to verify that your ignition switch is set to on. When you get to functions, select health reports. The tool will scan your vehicle for all trouble codes and available systems on the vehicle. Select the system you want to enter. From here, you can click on Report to generate a diagnostic report about the vehicle. This will include details such as vehicle information, with data concerning make, model, year, VIN, and mileage, inspection results, with high-level information about the issues discovered with the vehicle, and professional information, with detailed trouble codes concerning the specific issues with the vehicle. From here, you can click on PDF to save your diagnostic report to the device in a readable and shareable PDF, which can be accessed later from the home screen. Once you press the back button, you can click on the red bubble and view the trouble codes and their descriptions. When you press Enter, you are brought to the module's functions menu. Pressing the Read Fault Code button shows a menu that lets you choose self-tests and view the current DTCs on the vehicle. Pressing Retrieve CMDTCs will show the detailed trouble codes. This list provides the full details you'll need to help diagnose the problems with your vehicle. Let's go back to the PCM functions by pressing the back arrow and then the back arrow again. Now press the Read Data Stream button. This will show a selection of components that you can visually monitor on the vehicle. For this example, we'll click on Select All then OK. Here you can see the current state for each of the options selected previously, as well as a graph indicator if they are viewable in graph form. From this screen, you have the ability to combine several of these components on a single graph for monitoring, recording the data live as it is being shown from the vehicle, create a report of the current values, and compare sample data values to the current ones. You can press the Absolute Throttle Position B button to view the real-time values being displayed in a graphing format. Now we'll go back to the health report again by clicking on the back arrow, then clicking on the back arrow again, back arrow again, and clicking on the back arrow one more time. Once you have fixed the problems with the vehicle indicated by the M70, you can click on the Clear DTCs button. You will be asked to verify that you want to clear the fault memory. In this case, since we fixed the problems with this vehicle, we will answer yes. You will then be able to see that all of the DTCs have been cleared and the module has a green bubble instead of a red bubble. Then the module will update with codes that still need to be fixed on the vehicle. Now we'll show how to use the basic OBD2 functions. From the home screen, you can click on OBD. Then click on Diagnose. Once the device has connected in serial mode, it will check what protocols the scanned vehicle has available. You can click on Enter at this time to access the basic OBD2 functions or All Protocol Scan if you want to see all available protocols. We'll select the All Protocol Scan and you can see it searching. After selecting Enter, you can see the basic Diagnostic Functions menu. Here you can select the OBD mode you want to enter and access the diagnostics from there. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more helpful videos on ThinkCar Tools.